I wanted to do something where I could create a franchise. You know, I'd spent close to 20 years on Wall Street, and um, as I kind of looked ahead, uh, or you know, looked at what had happened on Wall Street, I'd seen a lot of individuals identify trends and then put organizations together to get out ahead of those trends. And if you do that just right, you end up creating a franchise. And so I got it in my head that I wanted to, to do that. And so in 1990, I, I started to think about you know, what I wanted to do and where I wanted to do it. And it could have been anywhere. But what I was looking for was, frankly, a, a long-term trend. Because I said, whatever it is I'm going to do, I'm going to do it for the rest of my working career. And that's what got me interested in Asia and China. To make a long story short, I started doing my investigation. And I found that because of the demographics, that Asia and China have very large young populations. This is what gives them their inherent growth characteristics. So I felt that Asia and China were going to be the story of the 21st century, and I wanted to be part of it. And so that's, that's, what, uh, you know, that's what motivated me to do what I'm doing today. Well, I think the first thing I need to do is to realize that the game has changed quite a bit over the last 10 or 15 years. I, I'd say 10 or 15 years ago, China was sort of an interesting market, but it wasn't a market you absolutely had to be in. Today, I think it's a market you absolutely have to be in. And I would say that any company today, whether it's U.S., European, Japanese, doesn't make any difference. If they're a global leader today and they're not big in China over the next 10, 15 years, my, I, I question whether they're going to be a global leader at that point. The China market's now become so big and so important. And I think what's happening in China is going to change literally the way industries operate around the world. And that's the story of the next 10, 15 years. So what you tell them in that context is they can't simply take their model from the United States or Europe and expect to overlay it on China. They really need to go in and they need to have whoever's going to do it for them. They need to really understand what the China market's all about and then adapt to their company strategy or at least create a separate strategy for China. And I think the biggest mistake people make is they say, okay, we've got a business in the United States. We're going to go to China. We're going to do it exactly in China the way we do it in the U.S. And that doesn't recognize the fact that China is substantially in a different place than the U.S. in terms of economic development. So that, that'll be the first you know, bit of advice. The second bit of advice is they need to, as quickly as possible, develop and empower a local management team. They need to really get very good, loyal Chinese managers that are in their camp that are running their operations in China. I mean running them, not, not just taking signals you know, from somewhere else.